Okay, uh, hello everyone and welcome to our next session. Uh, this lesson will follow on directly from the last lesson on human rights and the United Nations um, Declaration of Human Rights. So the focus of this lesson will be on the human rights of the indigenous people, uh, both within Australia uh, and globally. So remember to take some notes while watching the clip uh, using the note stacking method as, as we've outlined in class. Um, and also don't forget that summary at the end, one sentence and you know, a couple of questions to bring to class to help clarify that meaning. All right. Let's get started. Okay, by the end of this lesson, uh, we would like you to know and understand and do these things. So we'd like you to know that you so to know the significance of the events and the struggle of the indigenous peoples globally for their rights and freedoms, and to understand how these uh, uh, loss of rights and freedoms originally led to the acknowledgement of indigenous human rights uh, by the United Nations. And hopefully, of course, let's get practicing that note taking uh, and questioning. Let's go. The focus questions for this session uh, and this lesson coming up are what are the rights of the Indigenous people and how have these rights developed in Australia? Okay, so uh, Kivoko, uh, Indigenous, uh, dic dictionary definition of Indigenous uh, defined as being native or originating from a particular place. So in Australia, uh, the term Indigenous uh, applies to both the Australian Aboriginal people uh, and also the Torres Strait Islander people. Right, there are approximately 370 million Indigenous people across 70 countries in the world, uh, each with their own unique tradition, cultural beliefs um, and have close ties to the land. Uh, these Indigenous people are regarded, uh, according to the common definition, as the original inhabitants of a country or a geographical region um, at the time when people of a different culture um, or ethnic origins arrived. So the new arrivals later became dominant through you know, be conquest, occupation, settlement or whatever uh, word you want to use there, but um, as was the case with the Indigenous Australians. Okay, so, so with the new arrivals to land, such as like the European settlers in Australia, the Indigenous peoples faced removal of their lands, denial of their culture, uh, physical attacks, um, and being treated like second-class citizens uh, for, for, for decades, if not centuries, in some countries. Uh, basically, they were stripped uh, of any human rights. Um, you know, in some countries, they were uh, treated as slaves and forced to live uh, on missions um, and were forbidden the practice of you know, their culture. Uh, also, Indigenous peoples often share a key value that there's a close association between their identity as a people, um, their way of life and their land. Um, and they act you know, as guardians or custodians of that land. And that's an important um, consideration uh, with indigenous rights. And um, it's that's that, um, custodi um, that link sorry, with the country, uh, that kinship with the land um, that is passed into the next generations. And so of course, losing that uh, kinship is like a loss of identity um, and also being forced uh, to integrate into you know, the white culture, uh, which has historically resulted in loss of culture and a sense of belonging. Okay, so it took thousands of years of fighting to establish the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Now, we've covered that previously in class, uh, established 30 basic human rights that we are all entitled to just for being human. Um, but unfortunately, there you know, the, are the, the words on a page, they're theory at the moment. Um, while they've guided laws, they themselves are not laws. So as a result, um, over centuries um, in the past, some of these rights, including indigenous uh, people's rights were violated um, and in some cases are still violated today. Um, you know, as was and is the case, you know, the lands on which the indigenous peoples around the world and in Australia lived on uh, and still live on are often rich in resources and have um, been appropriated. They've been sold, they've been leased um, or simply just plundered and polluted by governments and private companies. So many have been um, uprooted from their land uh, through discrimination through discriminatory government policies um, in the past, um, or even armed conflict. Indigenous rights activists face violence and even murder when they seek to defend their communities and their lands. Overall, the Indigenous people around the world, including Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders, have been fighting for a long time to be recognised as distinctive groups with the right to run their own lives and determine their own futures. 
After more than 20 years of negotiations by Indigenous people from around the world, on the 3rd of September 2007, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Declaration of the Rights of the Indigenous People. And that declaration um, focuses on key sections, um, such as um, the ones that you see here at the moment. Um, you know, while it is not a binding paper, like all the other rights, um, under international law, it is, an intended, it is intended to set an important standard for the treatment of Indigenous peoples that will undoubtedly be a significant tool towards eliminating human rights violations against the planet's 370 million Indigenous people, um, you know, and hopefully assisting them in combating discrimination and marginalisation. In many countries, more than 50% of Indigenous people live in cities. Now, over the last three decades, Indigenous people have moved from their traditional land towards urban areas. Some are seeking opportunities for education and employment, while others are escaping human rights abuses, particularly related to their land rights and survival of their culture. So cut off from resources and traditions vital to their welfare and survival, many Indigenous uh, peoples are unable to fully enjoy their human rights. So instead, even to this date, they face marginalisation, poverty, disease and violence. And in some instances, extinction as a people. So that brings us to the end of this session. Uh, ask yourself these questions right now. What are the rights of Indigenous people? And how have, the, how have these rights developed in Australia? If you can answer this, yay. If you can't, rewatch the video, write some notes, write some questions, and I'll, we'll explore this in class. See ya.